cosy, you know? I think my delivery has arrived. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually driving by itself. Look. Oh, uh, I'm stuck. Look at this. It is actually chucking it down. Oh no, I was doing so well. After I've been here for 24 hours, I genuinely feel like I will have a hunchback. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going on a little camping trip. Now, it's not the sort of camping trip you'd think that I'd be going on, especially because we are still in lockdown and I haven't really been able to leave the house. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally stay in my car. So as you guys can see, I am all ready for my challenge. I've got all of my supplies in here and this video is actually not like a new concept. I've seen a few people do this like Saffron and Anastasia already. So I thought I would jump on the bandwagon and do this because I've never done it before. And I'm actually really excited to stay in my car because I've actually just made the switch recently from a Range Rover. I was actually really interested in the electric kind of cars. So I got the Tesla Model 3 and the reason why I got it is because it is fully electric. So it's great for the environment and yes our house and like the electricity that we put in it is renewable energy so that's amazing it's also perfect for this video because it means that I won't have to be putting any co2 into the environment just for the sake of this video because all of the energy inside is renewable I also decided to get this car over any other car because it is one of like the safest tested cars um, out there right now and safety is like a big thing for me so that's why I went for this one it is such a windy and gloomy day today as you guys can see so I feel like this is the perfect day to be doing this challenge and just you know get out the house because I've been stuck in the house for literally so so many months now and I'm just like dying to stay somewhere else but my bedroom. Matt's just turning the car around because all of the sort of action will be happening in the back of the boot. Alright so the first step is to of course set up my bed for the next 24 hours. Now I'm actually really lucky because this boot of this car is quite big and I actually even managed to fit a whole bed in it so this is actually a dream case uh, a friend of mine actually owns this company and they basically just make beds that you can just keep in the back of your car you can whip it out whatever and they don't just make it for Tesla's they make it for other models like Audi's uh, what else BMW's, Volkswagen, BMW's yeah all kinds of different cars so I will show you guys how this works but it's honestly so comfy and we actually have one for Matt's car too honestly if we had paid for it we would have 100% paid it off by now because we've used it so many times like we went camping in it we even take it to London sometimes and let's be real the hotels in London are very expensive so it's definitely worthwhile but let's crack this open and see what it looks like in action so this is what it looks like inside it's got the mattress which literally just folds out it's got the bedding as well so first things first we gotta put these seats down and move the front seats forward <laughs> finally set up I'm so excited because I haven't actually tried this particular dream case so let's try it out and see how comfortable it is oh wow this is so cool <laughs> it's a little bit of a struggle to get in because this parcel shelf cannot be removed unfortunately but this is pretty cozy you know five-star hotel it looks pretty comfy actually it looks good I think yeah. we could both get in there easily I think we could I think I'm gonna invite Matt to have a sleepover with me tonight uh, okay do you accept yeah uh, yeah I think so <laughs> I've actually got to say this memory foam is a lot more comfy than like a regular blow-up mattress which is quite surprising considering it is about that thin that's crazy so I guess this is the beginning of the next 24 hours what's the time right now it is 12 14 so I'm starting the video quite late like the challenge in general but I'm gonna have to sit in here until 12 14 tomorrow so wish me luck all right guys so it is literally just me now Matt has gone inside and I'm already feeling kind of lonely but this is pretty cozy and pretty fun the only thing is I can't really sit up in this car especially because the mattress is here um so this is going to be interesting. I'm going to be laying down for most of this video or I'm going to have to sit in the front. But anyways, I thought I would show you guys my supplies slash essentials. I didn't actually pack that heavy. Everything I will ever need 
is right here in this bag and I've got my laptop which I think I'm just gonna watch some videos on soon I've got my phone obviously and then I actually brought my Nintendo switch with me as well because I'm obsessed with Animal Crossing I must admit I pretty much play this game since the moment I wake up to the moment that I go to sleep and it's pretty bad but I'm working on my island and I will give you guys a little sneak peek later so excited for that I feel like it's a little bit dark in here let me just adjust the brightness okay the next thing I have is just a massive bottle of Volvic because I feel like I'm gonna get thirsty and I'm trying to cut out sugar so this is the sugar free one I've also got a little bit of a snack I don't actually have anything unhealthy so I'm pretty pleased about that I've just got a little box of grapes that I'm gonna snack on later I've got my PJs as well already for the night time I'm probably gonna get changed into that like halfway through the day because I love living in PJs. I've then got some skincare bits. I've got some makeup removing wipes from Nivea, along with the Nivea Double Effective Eye Makeup Remover. I then just have a charger for my Nintendo because I can plug it into my laptop, so I'm already thinking ahead, you know? I've literally just made the biggest mess, so I'm gonna have to put everything back into my bag and then just think of what I'm actually gonna do with my life for the next 24 hours. It's so hard living in a car where you can't sit up. Oh my god, there's a neighbor. There's a neighbor. <laughs> Can you guys see? Oh my lord. Yeah, if a, if a neighbor sees me, they're probably gonna think, what the hell is this girl doing? So, looking forward to that. My neighbor's windows are literally right there as well, so they would definitely be able to see me if they literally just look out the window. So that's fun. The best feature about this car is probably the fact that I can literally just lay on my little bed whilst watching TV on here. I can actually get Netflix on here, which is pretty cool. Okay, so Matt is bringing out my lunch now. I have no idea what he's decided to prepare for me, but whatever it is, I have to eat in here. And considering I've got white sheets, this is just not gonna go so well, is it? I really don't wanna sleep in dirty sheets, that's for sure. Here he is. Wait, can I open this? I can't open the window. Hang on, hang on. All right, I got it. What did you get me? What you ordered. Did I order Nothing this? Nothing fancy. I didn't order this. Yeah, chickpea, cauliflower, none. Oh, thank you. That's right. That looks nice. I'm gonna have to, it's a good thing you brought it on a plate because I'm gonna have to, oh, careful. That's not a good idea. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> he's left me already. <laughs> I think secretly you want to come in here, don't you? It looks quite <laughs> cozy. It is quite cozy, but I had to like sit nice up. Nice and warm. It is nice and warm. Mm. Thanks for my, my lunch. It's all right, leave it to them. Thank you. I miss you. Miss you too. <laughs> You're literally like a few steps away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, I just hate being alone. Okay, Matt has left. I'm gonna tuck into this lovely pastry that he's brought me out. This looks so nice. Look, and it's vegan. It's got chickpea in it. Mm. After I've been here for 24 hours, I genuinely feel like I will have a hunchback because I have to sit like this <laughs> whilst like doing anything in this car. All right guys, so ow, what the hell? That is a lot lower than I thought. Wow, I need to wash my head from now on. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to say, um, I've just finished my meal and I didn't finish all of it, but it's gonna have to do. I think I'm gonna, I actually don't know where to put it. Maybe here? It's my little table. I think now I'm just gonna go on my Nintendo But I'm actually gonna go and climb in the front because it is getting like way too hot in the back here And also I kind of can't be asked to keep laying down or be hunched over like this So wish me luck. I'm gonna try and climb to the front without actually getting out the car. I think this is gonna be quite hard All right, are we ready? Ugh. This is <laughs> This is quite hard. Okay, how do I even do this? Um, it's a little bit tight. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Ow. <laughs> my back is in such an uncomfortable position right now. Let me put you guys over here. Oh my lord. This is so hard. I'm actually kind of stuck right now. Like my both my legs are right in between the seats. <laughs> uh, I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. Okay. Uh. Ow. What did I just jab myself on? Was it the mirror? I actually can't tell. Oh. Okay, we made it! Yes! That was a workout and a half, I'm not gonna lie though. 
Ooh, it's a lot colder in the front. All right, so I've got my Nintendo on, but while I play Animal Crossing, I usually like to watch people on Twitch that actually stream Animal Crossing. And actually I have a friend called Rio, so let's see if she's on, um, on Twitch right now. She might be live. So I go into theater and there's a Twitch app. How convenient. <laughs> Um, her username is Pinne Princessa, so if you guys want to check her out, she plays pretty much Call of Duty and Animal Crossing for like six hours every day. She's very committed to it, so yeah, go check her out. Is she on though? Let's have a look. Okay, so this is her, but I don't know if she's on. <laughs> it's my friend, look at her. <laughs> she puts my palettes in the side of her videos as well. <laughs> she's so sweet. Okay, well, she's not on, so I'm just gonna show you guys my island and what it looks like. I'm not gonna show you guys all of it, like I said, but let's take a look. Okay, so here is one of my villagers. <laughs> this is a dress that I actually made. It's a snow white dress and she's wearing it, which is pretty cool. Anyway, this is my island as you come out of the airport. Oh no, my battery's low. Okay, we gotta be quick. So. This is kind of like the grand entrance. Um, my island is kind of like Disney themed, so I've made a Disney castle when you come to the front. I love this art right here. Um, so when you look up, it looks like the Disney castle. <laughs> and then I've downloaded all of these like dresses that look like, you know, princess dresses. I've made this whole like area. This is the meet and greet area as I like to call it. So we've got like Little Mermaid, Frozen. We've got the Mulan area. Um, this is probably like my favorite part of the whole island to be honest as you come back to the airport I'm also working on a new project on the left here. I've made this humongous bridge This is literally just done with terraforming and some fence panels I think it looks really really cool and this took me like way too many hours than I should admit <laughs> So yeah, that's a little sneak peek of my island if you guys want to see more in maybe like an island tour video Let me know in the comments below, but I'm just gonna play this for a little while I do quickly want to show you guys some of the features on here that we will be using throughout this video Video, but I'm just so excited I need to show you first so obviously we have the theater section we've got Netflix YouTube so actually I don't even need my laptop that's crazy and then we've got the arcade it's got loads of games which I haven't actually played all of them yet it's got like this really cool beach buggy racing game it's got chess all kinds of different things and then there's also the toy box area which is actually my favorite so let me give you a little sample of what the fart cushion is like so when I press this <laughs> It gets me every time. I can move it to any seat so Matt can fart. <laughs> Ma, you nasty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, my favorite one is this one. Hang on. You have a favorite. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's my favorite. <laughs> sounds so gross. Yeah, there's also a little trackpad, so I might be making my own diss track um, at some point in this video, so watch out. Um, there's also like a fireplace thing, so I might use that later on when we're like going to sleep. It does also turn all of the heating on, so it gets really, really hot when you use that feature. Um, and yeah, there's like loads of other things that are really fun, so we're definitely gonna try that out at some point. So now that I'm in the front, I think I'm gonna put it into camper mode. What this does is it enables the um, aircon to be on and you can lock the car but without like the alarm going off when you're in the car so I think that's really really cool if you want to like sleep in your car um, there's also internet which I didn't even know until Matt just told me um, so you can go on the web and oh what's this oh okay so this is the Tesla page actually I have a referral code if any of you guys are looking to buy a Tesla or you know anyone that wants a Tesla Model 3 you can use my referral code for like some free stuff right what do they get uh, 1,000 supercharger miles for free that's really cool actually. You used mine as well. Yeah, I used cool. Matt's which is really cool. And also this car has been the best selling car in the UK for two months so I think that's pretty cool. It is an awesome car, like it's got so many gadgets. So it's currently one o'clock as you guys can see. I've been in here for like what, an hour? Yeah, almost an hour. So I think I'm just gonna play on my Nintendo because I've got nothing else to do. I'm gonna work on my island, but I do need to put my Nintendo on charge actually because it's about to die. Later. All right guys, so it is now 2.31. I've literally just been playing here. Matt's been in the house. He's just come back out to film for me. I've just been playing my Nintendo, just working on my island, you know, but I am kind of getting a bit like cramped in here now. I'm not gonna lie. It's not that comfortable being sat down for this long. But I think I'm gonna play a different game now. I'm gonna play the game, the beach buggy one, I think. So let's go into, where is it here? I've only ever played this once, so I'm probably not gonna be that good. So what this does is it deactivates the wheels so that there's like no resistance. So you can actually use the steering wheel, which is so cool. Do I use the pedals for this? You just use the brake to slow down the car. Okay. 
All right, so one player. Should I go into ludicrous mode? <laughs> no, you won't survive. Okay, chill. All right, chill. Start off chill. It's kind of like Mario Kart, but with Teslas. <laughs> oh my, no, I just, yep, I just ran over a palm tree. Oh my God, no. I'm just going into all the palm trees. <gasps> what just happened? Okay, I'm dead. This is so sensitive. No, I'm terrible. What the hell? I'm in the sea. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, palm tree, palm tree. I promise I'm a lot better at driving in real life than this, guys. Oh, how do I activate that thing? Yeah, that's right. Take that. Oh my God, I just ran over a house. That's fine. And now I'm going in the sea. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now, you know? A thing. You're in second place. Am I? Yeah, oh no, I got distracted now. Oh my God, I ejected myself. How did that happen? Oh no, I was doing so well. And then it got to my head that I was second. <laughs> oh my god, I just ran over a bird. That's not vegan. I'm terrible at this. I'm actually terrible. Okay, wait, can I get one of those things? Okay, how do I unleash it? Yes! Yes. <gasps> We're third place! That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that out of six. That's pretty good. Come on. Considering this is my second time playing. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, guys, update. Look at this. It is actually chucking it down with rain right now. It's thundering, there's lightning, there's like massive gray clouds above me from what I can see. And to be honest, most of the time I would mind, but right now it's actually quite cool. Like I really like the sound of the rain anyway, so this is quite relaxing. It is currently 4.43. I've literally just been on my phone, like on Instagram, <laughs> just chilling, watching YouTube videos. I haven't really been doing much. And to be honest, the time is going pretty quick. So this is my current um, view when I look up. It's actually pretty cool. Look at all the droplets of rain. This is quite relaxing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of scared. Is it even safe to be in a car when there's thunder and lightning? Oh, Matt has arrived. What is he doing? Yeah? And easy is the same as a Tesco for dinner. For dinner? Alright, get in. Get in, quick! <laughs> it is so bad out there, isn't it? Yeah. It's actually been pretty relaxing in here though. There's thunder and lightning. I know. I was just laying here like looking at the at the ceiling. Like it's actually pretty cool yeah, being in here. That's quite peaceful. I guess I should drive you, hey? I could drive. No, Alright guys, so it's been about four hours since I got into this car and this is the first time I'm actually driving it, which is kind of crazy. But I'm going to try out the self-driving uh, mode because I haven't actually done it yet. So what do you do? Just press down twice. Alright, down twice. Just hold it gently, but let it steer. Okay, this is crazy. This is actually driving by itself. Look, I only have to apply the tiniest bit of pressure. Oh, I don't like it. It feels dangerous. I don't like it. Apply it's like going... pressure. You're not applying any pressure. Oh, it's it's literally going round the bend by itself. That doesn't feel good. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. And it slows down when there's like a car coming as well. So there's a bus. It will slow down itself. Don't touch the brakes. No, I've got to do it because I'm scared. Oh, it would have done it. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm gonna leave that mode to you. I like to drive by myself. <laughs> so we've arrived at Tesco. Obviously, I'm staying here. Matt's just gone out by himself to get some shopping for dinner. And I was honestly really scared doing the whole self-driving experience. I haven't tried it once since I got this car because I've just been too scared. But Matt's been using it non-stop. It's like actually really useful, especially on motorways and dual carriageways. But personally, I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't gonna stop. I know it would, but you know, you just never I know with computers. I'm definitely gonna give it a proper go when it's not raining. I just feel a little bit scared doing it in rainy conditions though. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am back from Tesco. I've been back for a little while and the weather has kind of taken a turn. Like, it's actually not as bad anymore. It's not raining. The sun has actually come out occasionally. So yeah, it's a weird weather that we're currently experiencing right now, but I've just been sat here watching Shane Dawson on the screen as you guys can see shane actually hasn't posted in six months since this video so um shane if you're watching this you kind of have to fix that look at that the sun is coming through what is even going on with this weather anymore <laughs> but yes i'm just chilling here watching youtube and just generally trying to pass time it's currently about six o'clock let me just check it is actually quarter past six so i suspect matt will be making dinner for me very soon which he will very kindly bring over i think this is the part that I'm in, hang on guys. Wait, 
it's coming. There I am! That's me! Oh my god! Two thousand years later. Guys, I have to admit, it is actually getting quite boring now. It is raining again, as you guys can see. And I'm still waiting for my dinner. Matt is taking a hot minute to make this dinner. It is 7.30. I think he's just about to be done though because he just texted me saying it's almost finished but I'm so hungry like honestly I've only really had one meal today and I've just been snacking on the grapes a little bit but I didn't really eat breakfast so I kind of missed out I think my delivery has arrived <laughs> hello what have you got me? dinner oh what is this? dinner <laughs> that sounds wow it looks really good I mean there's some like gyozas, rice, yeah. veggies. Got Thank you. Edamame beans, broccoli, sweet corn, spring onions. Wow. Uh, Very healthy. Loads of other stuff. Cabbage. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. I right. just called you my delivery. Oh. I was like, my delivery's arrived. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Guys, I've actually migrated to the front because I just didn't want to risk spilling the soy sauce all over the bed sheets and just in general all over the car because I can't really sit up there. I have to like kind of lay down or like hunch over really bad. So I just came in the front. I'm going to enjoy my meal. Matt is such an angel for literally cooking for me all day and bringing it out, bless him. And it is like raining so hard right now. So he had to come out in the rain. But let's give this a try. Mmm. That's really good. And then these are so delicious. These are the no chicken gyozas from MS, I believe. These literally taste just like real chicken gyozas. So let's give them a go as well. Mmm. If there's any vegans out there watching this right now, check these out. Even if you're not vegan, you should try them because they are actually amazing. I'm just gonna put some YouTube on the screen and watch it whilst I'm eating, just to pass the time, you know? I've just finished my dinner. I would rate it a 10 out of 10. Matt is such a good cook. Honestly, every time he cooks, I'm blown away by how good it is. So that was very nice. It is now eight o'clock, as you guys can probably see on the screen right there. I don't really know what to do now. I've been in here for so freaking long. And I just want to mention, I do really need a wee. I don't know how I've gone all day without needing a wee. I think it's because I haven't really been drinking that much of this. I know that you're allowed to go to the toilet, but I feel really bad doing so because I feel like I'm cheating. So I think I might just go to the toilet because this is not going to end well otherwise. And then I guess I will just watch a movie or something because I haven't got much else to do here. One eternity later. All right, guys, it's a lot later now. And as you can see, it has suddenly become dark. Can you guys see this? It is pitch black outside and luckily I'm not far from home so I don't feel like that scared about being out in the dark but like it's really hard to see out these windows so anyone can literally be right by my car and I wouldn't be able to tell so that's a little bit scary but it's okay I'm a big girl I can deal with it so um yeah it's actually now 11 o'clock <laughs> I don't even know how that happened to be honest I got invested in this show called Into the Night I've literally just binge watched all of these episodes, the six episodes. And I'm actually kind of sad about it because it was kind of left on a cliffhanger. Um, I want more episodes, so Netflix, please get on that. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but the show is really good. It's about like something happening to the world. It's like the end of the world and everyone's dying and there's this group of people that are trying to survive and it's actually really, really awesome. I think now, as it is 11, um, I'm going to try and get into my pyjamas. I'm going to change. I thought I would get into my pajamas a lot earlier, but clearly not. I'm gonna take my makeup off and also I've just realized I didn't bring out any toothpaste. So I'm gonna have to ask Matt to deliver my toothpaste to me and I'm gonna have to brush my teeth out the window, which is so gross, but it's okay. We're gonna do it. All right, guys, I'm in my PJs. I'm just taking off my makeup and Matt is about to deliver my toothpaste. I really struggle to see how this is going to work, um, especially because it is 11. So as soon as I open the window and I start talking, all the neighbors are going to hear me. So I'm going to have to be really, really quiet. <laughs> all right, I've got my toothpaste, my toothbrush, and also some water and a cup to spit into. <laughs> this is just not going to turn out great, is it? Guys, I am just way too committed to this challenge. <laughs> 
So I'm finally in bed. I'm under the duvet now and it's actually really cozy and the mattress is really comfortable too. We've got the fireplace on, <laughs> which is keeping us nice and toasty because it's actually turned on all the heating. Um, we're probably not gonna keep it for that much longer, but it is really cool. So the bed is actually big enough for two people, as you can see. <laughs> to be honest, it's actually not much smaller than my one. No. I actually was surprised. It's actually really spacious and comfortable. Yeah, and uh, this is really nice that Matt's joined me for a sleepover because I felt really <laughs> lonely all day just being in here by myself. Plus you get aircon in here, so it's like, if it's really hot in the house, we could just yeah. come in here. Yeah, we could actually. It's actually quite fun sleeping away from the house because we've been cooped up in the house for so long, haven't we? Yeah, I can't wait to go on like a road trip or something. I That'd know, cool. I can't wait. But that's it for tonight. I'm literally gonna go to sleep now and catch up with you guys in the morning. Night. Tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I am so tired. It is currently almost 10. <laughs> I kind of slept in because we did go to sleep quite late. Um, Matt is still sleeping, I think. Look at the outside, guys. <laughs> it's very bright outside right now, so that's kind of what has been waking me up for the past three or four hours. So because it's almost 10, um, I've actually only got two hours left, pretty much, of being in this car, and then my 24 hours will be complete, so I'm kind of looking forward to getting out, to be honest. Um, I didn't actually bring any clothes to get dressed into, so I'm gonna have to get Matt to bring me some. All right, so Matt has just gone in. It is 10.48. I basically have an hour and a bit left of being in this car, so I think I'm gonna get dressed and just, uh, yeah, get up, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Not that I've got anywhere to go yet. Also, when you engage the camper mode on the Tesla Model 3, this little screen turns on, and this was on all night, which is actually quite nice. It was like a nice little bit of mood lighting. All right, guys, I'm all dressed now, and I've just been sat here playing with the trackpad because I haven't actually been able to do it yesterday. I don't, I kind of just forgot about it, so let's try it out. This is my beat. I'm making my own diss track. <laughs> okay. And you can like add so many different sounds. You can do like symbols, Chinese symbol. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, watch out, watch out everyone in the music industry. Where's the uh, keyboard? You can actually play keyboard on here. I'm gonna play up for you guys, are you ready? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I can do it a lot better on the actual piano. <laughs> and then Matt's got a song as well. Oh, do you want to share them? <laughs> okay, I'm getting into it. Very good, very good. It actually sounds very similar to the movie. And Zimmer, watch out. <laughs> no! So Matt's just recorded a song. Do you want to play it for them? Yeah, ignore this first bit. It went wrong. It's from here. Go. I don't know, but that's terrible. Wait. It's currently 12.03. I haven't got too long left to go. I almost I almost succeeded in this challenge, haven't I? Yeah. I'm so close. <laughs> Matt is gonna pack up my bed, bless him. He's gonna help me, because it is a mess. All right guys, so I'm just home and I'm editing the video right now. And I've just realized that in this moment right here, you can read what Matt's t-shirt says and it's actually his pajama top and it says, greatest father in the universe. <laughs> we actually got this pajama set for Matt from like Sainsbury's three years ago. And before we opened it, we bought it. So we didn't actually know what it said on the t-shirt. And then when we bought it, we realized it says like greatest father or something, but don't worry. We're not like, we're not planning for a baby anytime soon. All right, guys, it is 14 minutes past, which I'm pretty sure marks the 24 hours, if I can remember correctly. I think it was 14 past that I actually got in this car yesterday, and it's been 24 hours. It's been kind of crazy, 
but I'm ready to get out. <laughs> like, this is all I've known for the past 24 hours. So, let's get out now. I'm excited. What if my legs don't work? Hey, I'm out, woohoo! <laughs> I've completed the challenge. That feels good. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me throughout this whole video. I know it's a long one and it was very like tedious to film for me too because all I really could do was play Nintendo or watch a movie. And let me tell you, I've watched a load of movies in the last 24 hours. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.